Hey guys, this is Captain Daniel. In today's video, I want to talk about the new show on Netflix called Physical Wanderer. Now, obviously, showing you guys my body. Physical 100 is a very interesting show, right? Because right now it's going viral for the right reasons. I think in the Asian community, right, most men was considered attractive was probably the K-pop look, the skinnier look, kind of like the pretty boy look. And, and that was like the main thing that people thought about with Koreans, especially with Koreans getting famous, BTS, and even Psy, right? Kind of Psy got big and they were mostly chubby. But no one ever saw Asian men as physical beasts, right? And, you know, the last person who you saw was really beastly was like Bruce Lee and there was one guy Bol Bolo or something so even even Shang-Chi I would say he wasn't even ripped he was like the most ripped Avenger and I feel like you know Asian men were never considered like badasses in terms of physical dominance right most people look at white guys black guys Australian guys like Thor they're like the beast I don't know if you saw the most recent Thor movie where he just like does this and he's so jacked right you don't see a lot of Jack Asian guys no it's not like hating on any Asian actors in America where they play Play, you know all these great roles like even Walking Dead I love that character the Asian character there but even in dating shows right like I'll be honest I was the most jack guy on the show too but I definitely built my muscle from there but you know Asian guys in dating shows were not these guys were like we take off our shirts and two off handle where all the guys took off their shirts they were the most muscular I've never even seen an Asian guy on that show but all these like shows where like in the west where um you know everyone's in really good shape you don't really see an Asian guys in really good shape and that's why you see very few even fitness influencers or tiktok influencers for Asian I don't know maybe we just don't like muscle but fiscal 100 has truly changed the game for Asian men, especially because Asian men in there are so jacked and so BC, like they literally look like monsters. And not only that, they're badasses, right? There's that wrestler guy, you know, I'm not gonna spoil anything for you, but there's wrestler guy, there's Navy SEAL, there's like Spencer's, there's actually athletes. Physical 100 is so interesting because they're actually athletes, showing that Asian men can be athletes, they can be beasts, they can be soldiers, they can be killers, they can be martial arts. Uh, they can show you that MMA because right now in the Western media, they don't show us as spiders, they don't show us as soldiers, they don't show us as these heroes. You know, so what I've noticed from the first show, you see, you know, all these like contestants entering. They're like, one's Navy SEAL, one's a true MMA fighter. And they're all jacked and they dress well. Some are really good looking. So this show has truly shown the the limits, or not the limits, the potential of Asian men. Yeah, K-pop. I love K-pop, how they, you know, BTS really brought a positive influence, showed us globally, and like, you know, the younger girls love that. But in terms of dating, right, and in terms of attraction, in terms of what women want in men, I think this show has shown that like Asian men are actually actually athletic they're masculine they're just badasses for example you know recently in the world cup i don't know if you knew about the korean guy who got viral for being good looking but he also went viral because he talked shit back to cristiano ronaldo and you know that was like an alpha version of an asian male most asian males are considered like especially how big the world got on k-pop more pretty boy like i said pretty nice feminine kind of looks and all that stuff but now with the soccer player and now with fiscal 100 it's going crazy how much that asian men are shown as beasts like they're legit monsters and that's why you know I'm, I'm, I have my shirt off too right now, but like we are beasts. Like I want people to know like Asian men are just as strong as any other man. Like I don't want you to think we're stronger. I don't think I'm stronger than any race or anything like that. But I just want to, I just don't want us to be judged as weaker. Um, I know in sports competition in the West, a lot of uh, guys judge me on basketball court or football players are like all oh, Asian guys are not that strong. We don't have the muscle prowess. I think maybe genetically we're not more prone to muscle building, but also now that's BS. I think the world has changed where our culture has changed, our bodies has changed where now like I do think that that Asians can build more muscle because I've seen in Toronto every guy's Asian guy's tall actually in Korea now guys are taller too um and there's a lot of Jack Korea guys and it's, you don't have to take drugs or anything like that you just have to work hard put in the work and some of these guys on the show they're actually athletes Olympic athletes and Navy SEAL so they can't stay at taste steroids by the way so this is all achievable doing all this uh by becoming natural and just working out hard and Asian guys can look good can be muscular and can look like Marvel superheroes right this show has just been a great like marketing or great positive image for all Asian men like it just shows and you know women too obviously it shows the strength of women but you know obviously I'm a man so I'm going to focus on mostly on the Asian guy I feel like for Asian guy watching this and you feel like oh, there's no point in me being in shape like I'm just gonna do all this stuff where I just focus on like money and career or whatever I think now physical attraction plays a huge part and I think women are starting to find men more attractive for Asian even if you don't consider yourself attractive facially you could always change your body because if you see that show these guys are all like attractive in their 
way because first they have that physical presence and you know like physical presence is something you know another youtuber talks about all the time but that's so true as an asian man you need to walk at the room the night for short because the short guys on the show there's a uh, short tall whatever because you have that physical presence and you know your guy who works out and books to the gym just like a mutual respect everyone just looks at you like damn you understand this body that i have too it's not easy to maintain like it's not easy i have to sacrifice it. i don't drink alcohol i don't have to do all this but it shows you discipline it shows you masculinity it show shows the definition of that and it's i love it how like it's an all asia cast right there's no there's a couple like foreigners in the show which whatever I be, but we've seen all those we've seen those foreigners like those foreigners not going by for reason you've seen jack white guys you've seen jack black guys you've never seen really jack you guys now you see it and like, even shang chi like i said like fence bro see malua actually i'm gonna call you out dog i've been more jacked man you should have been more jacked and honestly like you represented all superheroes on me and hater whatever you want but i feel like you should have been more jacked for a marvel movie because you represent an asian superhero like bruce lee was shredded to the bone everything came on screen he said he was shredded to the bone so as an asian man you should be in shape you should get in jack you should be in the best shape possible because you represent all asian men and this show is a good example of like these guys hard for their bodies i know because i personally did too but if you're watching this and you really think you know like this gives you hope that asian men can be jack can be mustard all itself like trust yourself it can be done and this shows how manly and awesome asian men are so i hope that helps kevin daniel out. thanks for watching our video i hope you liked it and make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos Great news too. Every Monday, we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right, we've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun infield pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check back.